Um, I decided to make um, my favorite um, of, of um, month of April, and um, let's just get right to it. My first item is gonna be. I'm gonna start with like, the first thing, the first step you do, and it's gonna be washing it. Very important. And then I have been using the L'Oreal Paris Go 360 Clean Deep Cream Cleanser, and this one's the the pink one, and they have like a little scrub or exfoliator sponge thing, it's like rubbery, <coughs> and um, what I do is, um, you need a lot of bubbles in face wash, so it washes off that dirt in the bubbles, I guess, that's what I heard, and I love doing it, I love bubbles on my face too, so I did that, oh, I'm sorry about my voice, it's like going away, um, but yeah, this actually really, stuff on my laptop, um, goes like on the walls of your bathroom, like the bathtub and the mirror, so it's really funky. But I always just put it back over here. And before I use it, just in case there's like dirt or like some dust on it, I always rinse it with water first and then use it on my face. And so you get bubbles on your and you rub it, and then you go put it on slightly like this softly, going this way and also this way. Um, we'll talk more about wash your face later in another video but yeah that's how you do it and then I take this out and then also rub it all around both ways this way and that way so it gets all of it off and you should try like doing it where your hair roots are too a little bit when you're washing your face because there are some makeup that gets stuck there um so yeah I recommend this one this one the deep cream cleanser but they have some for like um, combination stuff. Some they have like other stuff. I mean, um, so I have their site open, and yeah, they have like different ones. They have they have the deep facial cleanser, and they have like the orange. Um, it's the exfoliating one. I think that one has like the cream and it has like little um, balls with the blackheads and stuff like that. And they have like a blue one. So I really recommend this. I heard really good reviews about this one. And the next thing I do after I wash my face is um, this. It's the Clinique um, Step 2 Clarifying Lotion Clair Fiante. And it's in the three step in care system from cleaning. Um, I've heard good things about this one. When I first bought it, I had it for like a year because I was like, it just smells. I don't really, I didn't really like clean products and um stung a little. So I didn't really like it. So I just used like the face soap more. But then I started using it after I used the makeup and it cleared up my skin a lot better. It's like um, enforcer for makeup removal, I think, and also for toning. Um, okay. And this one, we have it in two sizes. This one's the 13.5, the biggest size, which is like $20, and then the 6.7 fluid ounces, which is eleven fifty. And I like this one. It's just staying a little, so you shouldn't like put it in, on your eye. But, um, like, you don't really get redness and stinginess goes away quickly. So I, what I do is, um, after I have makeup on for the whole day, um, I kick it off with like a makeup remover tissue, and then use the face wash, and then use this for the third time, um, third um, step to get rid of my makeup and make my skin more toned. And yeah, so I always call this a toner than a lotion. The toners are usually water, but um, yeah. So uh, this um, I think that's how I started to use more of clean products. So this is my second bottle, and I'm almost like more than halfway through the bottle. Um, my next one. I have two more clean products. I'm starting to really like clean. Yeah, I'm getting it from my roommate. Um, 
So my next one is um, in the morning. Um, I use this after um, I use like a little acne pr um, product. I'll show you my steps later, but yeah, I use one of the as one of the first steps, and it's the 40 SPF Super City Block from Clinique. And I really like this product because um, I put it on over here. It's like sh a little shiny and then like kind of dry on this side, right? And it has some of the it's sheer, um, sunscreen and sheer. So like it kind of cover up, but not really. But it does have like a tint. So, um, yeah, but it does like, I don't really recommend it for oily skin, I guess, because it does make it like looking kind of moisture and oily a little bit. But I really recommend it for other users, users um, because it has 40 SPF. Like other stuff usually is like 25, 30, and it's like the most that I've seen so far in like the little, like, Makeup slash sunscreen thing. So I really like this one. And that one's seventeen dollars and fifty cents. And it's like one point four fluid ounces or forty milliliters. Yeah. So and then my next one is going to be Clinique All About Eyes Concealer. Um, I don't just use it on my eyes. Um, I use it for all kind of concealers types of concealers like for acne and stuff like that. And I ha actually had some on. The price came off a little bit. It's 99 it always like rub my eyes. But um yeah I use it for my dark circles and my acne. Not although it's all about eyes. Um, I've heard good things about this too. Actually it's more of the cream from all about eyes line but um the concealer is not that bad either. And this one's fifteen dollars and fifty cents. All the cream products are kind of more expensive than drug drugstore products, but it's worth it. And um, I think they have this um, different shades for this, so you can probably get it in your shade, in your own shade. Um, don't remember which one this is. Oh, it's this O3 light petal. So that's what I'm. Using. It's a little bit darker than my skin. But because I always get tan, like try to get a tan in the summer, I I, use, oh, I always use a doctor shade. Okay. So what's not really great about it is that you have to like use a very little bit of it, to, like dot it. Don't use too much because you have to like spread it all over for the face. Then. My next one is going to be the EOS lip gloss, which is like. 329 um, and they have this one in different flavors. When I went to Rite Aid, that's where I got this one from, and they only had this one, like this single product left. But I was like, oh, I really want one because it's really highly recommended and everyone's using it. So I really want one. So, and it was, it was one of the ones that I wanted. Um, with what I got disappointed in was that um, it wasn't really, I mean, it moisturizes, but it looks like it smells really nice and stuff, but the smell goes away really quickly. So you can't really smell it. It's only smelling when you like actually smell it, and that's what it looks like. And But there are more pros to this item, and um, they got a new one, which is Lemon Drop SPF 15. So you could get that one, and then they also have Summer Food and and they have other stuff, and it, it has shea butter and vitamin E, so it's really good. And also, I mean, if, if you want more um, information, you should go to their site, which is US, yeah, for Evolutions of Smooth. So go to their site, evolutionsofsmooth.com. And um, another good thing is, like, usually, like, chapstick sticks, the cap sometimes goes on and it goes all over the bag and stuff. This one's a twist, so. You never go wrong with it, and it's fun to play with. And it's cute. Um, 